want to welcome Justin Hayward, singer, songwriter, player for the legendary group, the Moody Blues. Uh, the tour, the Moody Blues, The Voyage Continues, Highway 45, of course, celebrating the 45th anniversary of the classic album, Days of Future Past. Way back when the band was working on that album, uh, of course, you're very young at the time. Did you realize how good it was at the time and maybe how long-lasting it would be? Do you know, I thought, in truth, I thought we were making... This is my impression of it. I thought we were making a kind of arty album that would have a limited appeal to certain kind of reviewers from the Observer paper or something like that. And we might get invited to kind of arty cocktail parties and meet intelligent ladies. But that's about it, really. And um, and I think that was about it until we came to the U.S. in 1968 and collided or, or coincided with um, FM radio which bounced back, really, to the U.K., and then our stuff was just perfect for it, particularly Days of Future Past. Well, the Moody's, you know, a long time, the, from the 60s up through the millennium. Uh, are we going to hear a good sampling of everything at the concert? I think there's something there for everybody. There's something there from most of the albums, that's for sure. And, um, uh, you know, the first half is the later stuff that we've, that we've done, and then the, the last bit of the concert really is bringing it on home with the with the greatest hits, the stuff that we couldn't get off stage without playing. How has touring and your audience changed over the years? Because you've been on the road a long, long time. Yes, it's in all of those 45 years. Um, well, I would say really that our audience really changed with two songs, with Wildest Dreams and I Know You're Out There Somewhere. Our audience was diminishing before an album called The Other Side of Life. And then we had Wildest Dreams and suddenly we were um, pulling in huge crowds again. And the people that came to us with those records um, are, are probably still the bulk of the, our audience now. A lot of people of our own age have come back to us, and there's a lot of young people that like the music when, that we made when we were young. But the bulk of the audience is that crowd that came with us in the, in the late 80s, which is very nice.